great to have you join us on Art House. On today's episode, the official group for artists have been pretty busy drawing, painting and sculpting their way into the hearts of the viewers. Then we move to Edo State where an artist who is proud of her culture is taking us on a journey. Plus, a company has been supporting artists to make their good better and their better best. We have that and more in a moment. I'm Melinda Akinlami. A warm welcome to the show. Nigerian literature glitters because it came wolf tales. Art studies and practice provide opportunity for mentorship that results a big blessing in disguise. Access Bank has been supporting the arts, especially the Art X Lagos Fiesta. Last year, they were able to bring the long-lost painting done by veteran artist Ben and Wongu back home for a visit. And now they tell us the other things they have up their sleeve. The towering glass, waterfront, renowned sculptures and other art pieces. A beautiful sight at the group head office of Access Bank in Lagos where art blends seamlessly into the space around it. Over the years, Access Bank has remained at the forefront of supporting the Nigerian creative industry using platforms such as its partnership with ArtX Lagos, which has evolved into the largest art, culture and lifestyle fair in West Africa. Amechi Okobi is the group head of corporate communications at Access Bank. It tells us what makes art special to this company, as well as the ArtX Lagos and Access Bank collaboration. Access Bank has always been passionate about art. Our two founders, Herbert Wigwe and Nagi Mokwede, from their college days, have collected art. And they bought art from students, they bought art from anyone who was essentially involved in art, they, they supported. And then when the bank started, Art was about CSR for us, so we bought pieces to, to fulfill our CSR commitment. And the love has just been there since. So when Tokini came at us with this platform, of course we're going to support. Um, it does so many things. It talks, to, it talks to our passion for art. It talks to our desire to change the narrative. It talks to further supporting and building this incredible industry. He believes this partnership is also a part of the story of a new Nigeria as it has taken the responsibility of showcasing contemporary and modern art to the world. It's a collaboration we've done I think for four years now and it's been phenomenal. We just did the fourth year um, over the weekend and it went very, very well. So we're very proud of what Tokini Peterside has done with the platform. It's grown from inception and it's just gotten better and better and bigger and bigger. I think I may be able to say over the weekend we must have gotten well over 100,000 people just come back and forth through the exhibition and that was fantastic to see, just seeing Nigerians and out-of-towners enjoy art, appreciate art, talk about art, buy art. This is, it gives me such joy. So it's been a great platform for us and it, it helps us on our journey towards retelling the African story to, to, to change the narrative of the world currently. The financial institution is committed to developing and supporting emerging talent and the Access Bank Art X Prize reflects just how far the bank is willing to go in this regard. We want to support young artists, so it's not just about collecting art or buying art or selling art, no, but these young budding and developing artists need the support, need the tutelage, need the guidance. So that's why we have the ArtX Prize. 
This year, I think we gave we gave her 1.5 million, and she has a three of three month residency at Gas, Gas Works in England. So we don't just want to say you've won, here's money. No, we want to actually help create the next Benin Wong, the next Grillo, the next Victor Ikameno, the next, you know? So we, we want to help you actually achieve that dream of being a full-on, highly valuable, highly desired artist. In line with Access Bank's philosophy to offer more than banking, Commitment to help Africans tell their stories through creative and innovative ways is a big passion for this organization. The art can definitely do with a lot of support, especially at this time when it's becoming the darling of the world. And this artist is giving us more reasons why so much to love about Nigerian art. Culture is the way of life of a people. And that's what this contemporary artist who has royal blood running in her veins is revealing in this solo exhibition. She takes her audience on a journey through time, displaying the richness of the Bini culture which she has come to love and appreciate. I realize my first discipline area of focus is painting. So I started this mixed media works, but gradually I realized that most of these works if I leave them just with paintings, they're going to end up in the far corner of some homes and the public will not have access to them. So I had to give this through this textile aspect and through the textile where it will be worn by so many different events and will be shown globally through various walkways, fashion houses and fashion shows, people will get to identify themselves with these iconographies which are typical Benin. And this iconography that I discovered are over 500 years old. Her full regalia is as beautiful as the works of art on display at the Crown Art Gallery in Benin. Probably seems like a good place to push this culture consciousness crusade which sent her to the history books to learn more about what has sustained it, even though that's what she's known all her life. Looking back to my own background, I asked myself, then what do the Benins have? And that gave birth to this research because that question really troubled me. So when I went back, there is this big book by Barbara Plackenstein. She's an international curator and she's been closely also supporting us. So delving into this book, I came to the recognition while I was examining some of the selected works for this exhibition. Apparently, the quest was rather revealing, and she transferred the intricate icons she discovered in her research into fabrics tagged Edobatik, creating this array of mixed media works. Beyond the aesthetic appeal, this artist looks at this venture as an avenue to empower more people as entrepreneurs. There is no how, you know, you do something without having challenges. The challenges were enormous. Uh, in terms of initial stage, before the funds from my husband and myself, you know, from the family post came in, I uh, had to buy so many things. My studio was almost like a warehouse, working day and night. But I say, through hard work to the future generation, hard work, persistence, diligence, focus, and above all, remain prayerful in anything you do. When you believe in creation, you believe in the Almighty Father, nothing is impossible. Hard work is very important. Today, a lot of our younger ones do not try, really like to go extra mile because they think it's all, you know, on a golden plate. But you need to put in so much, you need to sweat, you need to work hard and remain prayerful. The artist hopes this exhibition will spark a conversation beyond these walls. It's been lovely. Um, it's nice to see our culture celebrated and today this um, artwork here is um, brought out the Bini culture for what it is, so I would say in its full regalia.
There's nothing that's not been touched. Um, even particularly, I'm impressed um, about the Ewere leaves because normally in our tradition for the Beniz, um, there is no Igwe without a Ewere. So it's, it's nice. It's just, um, it's out of this world, I would say. I would like a lot of people to actually come for this exhibition because it's a call back home, especially for we the youth, yeah, to come learn and see the importance of culture. I know we are celebrating Benin now, but we all have to actually now understand and value our culture. I'm excited about this and um, I've got great hopes and aspirations um, for her work and I'm going to I'm committing to work with her very closely and uh, to make sure that this, we take this to higher levels and uh, ultimately get it out to um, the world stage so that people begin to know, um, you know, um, to know the value that Nigeria always presents um, in terms of culture and traditions and um, various talents that we have in our country. There's a huge uh, talent base in Nigeria that has huge world um, value and uh, would attract a lot of world acclaim. So I see this as one of them. Uhume Ve Ehime and Master of the Circled Cross in Benin Kingdom is a traveling exhibition, but Benin, a dough state, is just a starting point because charity begins at home. This collection will be dotting many other cities around the world, especially those linked with Benin artifacts, so this message will be heard far and near. She really dressed the part, I tell you. Well done. Now let's see what you sent in online, and when Art House returns, you'll see more artifacts for you to feast your eyes on. So join us again. These are the images you sent in this week. Sherry Odukoya has this one, which he calls Dreams. It's done with charcoal and chalk on board. Women of Honor is an acrylic on canvas work done by Edechi Ololo. While Badebo Ebeniza is taking a journey with his metal piece. The Lost Search is a pastel on paperwork by Ido Ehimibai. To this little pretty girl, done with acrylic on paper by Samuel Shonei. Love Explosion is a mixed media work done by Dominion Perucci. And this digital art cartoon painting is done by Sam Dave. He is paying tribute to the actress Adeswa Etobi. And those are the works of art you sent in this week. We encourage you always to keep them coming, put your best foot forward, and the right information beside that work of art. Let's take a moment now when Art House returns, an exhibition that celebrates women at the Thought Pyramid Art Center in Lagos. Join us again.